Hello, my name is Tazen from Casa Geo, the data science and location intelligence company with part 6 on the fuzzy match tool. In this video we look at the generate key match function. In order for us to compare words for similarity, we first need to match them. In the fuzzy match tool you can generate one or more keys for matching. However, we will make do with one key. The key can either be a variable that only serves as a key, or a variable that we also want to compare for similarity. Note: If two rows have the same key, then the values are compared in the fuzzy match tool. If the keys are different, they are not compared. It does not matter then whether the expressions have a high score in J-Row or Levenstein. That is why we have called this video no match, no score. To define a key variable, we edit the selected variable and select generate key. For the match function, on the other hand, we select none, key match only. We do this twice, one fuzzy match tool with SoundX as the key generator and the other with Metaphone. In order to receive the keys in the output, we have to activate generated keys only in advanced options. We want to take a closer look at the two methods, SoundX and Double Metaphone. Both algorithms are phonetic comparisons for indexing words according to their sound in the English language. If you want to know exactly how SoundX and Double Metaphone work, I have copied two links to this in the description. I will show two examples that are similar but are sorted out by both SoundX or Double Metaphone. One example in English and the other one in German. Since both algorithms were developed for English, they are more prone to misattribution with other languages. Example 1. Salesman with a misspelling where the S has been swapped with the M. The match score for Levenstein is 75 and for Jero it is 96. So the two words are relatively similar. But both SoundX and Metaphone provide different keys. SoundX differs in the last two digits and Metaphone has the letters S and M reversed. Thus, the two data sets are not compared and we do not get a score. Example 2. The German word Strasse with a spelling mistake. We compare it once written with SZ and the other time with double S. Here too, Jero delivers a score of 85, while Levenstein's is 69. SoundX and Double Metaphone provide different keys. Again, they do not check for similarity. We have seen two examples where the pairs of terms are similar but are sorted out before they can be compared. SoundX and Double Metaphone are good and helpful algorithms for matching similar words. However, we want to point out the risks of not recognizing similar terms under certain conditions, especially if they are non-English words. In the next video we will look at the merge mode and an advanced option. Thank you for your time. We are happy to support you in the area of data science and location intelligence.